Welcome to Proofpoint's how-to video tutorial series, which is aimed at sharing Proofpoint's professional services, best practices for configuring the Proofpoint protection servers, features, and functionalities. This video tutorial demonstrates how to configure a sender policy framework using the Proofpoint protection server, or PPS 8.6. Sender Policy Framework, or SPF, is an anti-spam protocol that allows you to authenticate or verify the domain of an email sender. This protocol is useful in deterring spammers who often disguise their true internet address by pretending that their email comes from a legitimate domain. SPF is not implemented across all email domains, therefore you need to ask the following questions of your organization. Do they plan to enforce policy? if a SPF record is invalid or missing? Do they evaluate SPF inbound and then add the appropriate valid exceptions to the rule? Turning on SPF inbound for enforcement is not a default practice for PPS implementations. However, if performed correctly, can help with spam detection. We can begin by accessing the SPF general options. From the email authentication module, SPF dropdown, Navigate to the General page. Select the On Radio button and then select the checkbox named Restrict Processing to Selected Policy Routes. Choose the default inbound policy route from the Available box and then click on the double arrows to move the policy to the Require Any Of box. Perform the same function again by selecting the checkbox named Disable Processing for Selected Policy Routes. This time, Choose the SPF safe and outbound policy routes. As always, remember to select the Save Changes button. To enable SPF for inbound mail flow, we can configure it in audit mode. Select the Email Authentication module, SPF dropdown, and Rules page. The following SPF rules will be displayed. Select the Edit button for SPF Hard Fail. Next, create a new quarantine folder called SPF Hard Fail. At this point, leave the audit mode in place for a week or two. Afterwards, evaluate what is being captured in the quarantine folder and determine whether to proceed with an enforcement. If enforcement is chosen, we can select the reject mode with the following code and text, or we can perform a silent discard. Another option is to continue within the audit mode while modifying the spam score. This can be done by selecting the checkbox titled Influence Spam MLX Score from the Continue options and then choose Modify Spam Score from the drop down. Increase the current default of plus 10 to read plus 40. This will raise the spam score to above 50, thereby initiating a low-level quarantine with a score of between 50 and 99. The inbound email would then be routed to a recipient's spam digest where they could personally take action. For our scenario today, we will leave the rule in the audit mode by selecting the Continue Radio button and then save our changes. During the next two weeks, we can review any email that has been quarantined by the SPF hard fail rule by navigating to the System tab, Quarantine Module, and Folders page. We can then select the SPF hard fail folder. If an email has been caught, we can add the email sender to the SPF safe policy route. This can be performed by navigating to the System Module, Policy Routes page. The SPF Safe Policy Route is where we can safe list quarantined entries that are from legitimate sources. When you're ready for enforcement, navigate back to the Email Authentication Module, SPF dropdown, 
and Rules page. Enforcement is where we can set a rule to reject as well as prescribe what message, if any, to send back. We can also set our enforcement to discard and then choose to not deliver a message. Finally, we can remain in audit mode by raising the spam score to plus 40. The inbound email would then be routed to a recipient's spam digest where they could personally take action. Thank you for watching our brief how to video tutorial on how to configure a sender policy framework using the Proofpoint Protection Server or PPS. For additional information on our products, visit our knowledge base at https colon forward slash forward slash proofpointcommunities.force.com. For questions, comments, or feedback on this tutorial, please email us at training at proofpoint.com.